Okay then, before I start today's play night, front end and main setup guide, if you like what you see, stay hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, which is virtually every day. And it also helps my channel a great deal too. So we're looking at Play Night. Now, if you're new to Play Night and you're not sure what it is, it's a front end and it's seen as a free alternative to the very awesome launch box. So I thought I've not done one of these since September 2023. So let's get back into Play Night again and do most people's favorite, which is obviously MAME. So we're going to download Play Night first and I'm going to leave the links in my description. And if we just go to download, we're going to install Play Night. Just open this up and install play night now if we just drop down options this is going to install deep within your computer such as app data local and it's going to create a folder called play night you can either leave it to install there or just create a new folder somewhere else such as desktop and just ask it to actually install there so it's a bit more accessible to get to so what i'm going to do is actually go to portable and i'm going to go to browse and from here, what I'm going to do is just navigate to that Play Night folder, which I've just created on my desktop. So if I just left click on Play Night, OK, and now you can see destination folder has now changed. If I now hit install. OK. Okay, doke so first time process is going to be just a welcome window as you can see you can read through that if you like just go to next next up we actually got the ability here or rather the option to integrate different systems to play night such as amazon games battle.net games epic games i'm going to leave all this unchecked and just go to next and configuration has been finished so just press finish and here we go we are in play night so obviously this is an absolute blank canvas at the moment but the aim of this video is to set up MAME for you so next thing we're going to want to do is head over to the MAME official website and download the latest version of MAME so downloads latest release and i'm going to download MAME 0246 b underscore 64 bit.exe let's just download this one Okay, so once we downloaded MAME, you're going to find us downloaded this very old school looking 7 zip. So, what we need to do with this is just go into Play Night, Play Night, and I'm going to create a new folder inside the Play Night directory. So, right click anywhere in the blank space, new folder. I'm actually going to call this folder emulators. We do have an emulation folder which is set up already inside of Play Night, but I'm going to just do it this way. And once we're in here, I'm going to create another folder and just call this folder main and if i go and open up that 7-zip what i'm going to do is just point this into the direction of that main folder i've just created so right click on the search bar and copy that and i'm just going to press ctrl v to extract it here Okay, so now that's been extracted, what I'm going to do next is just go down to the ROMs folder, which comes with the extraction from MAME. And what I'm going to do within this folder is actually put my MAME games inside of this one. Okay, whilst that's copying across, I'm actually going to go and open up Play Night now. So within the root of the directory just here, we should have an executable for Play Night. Okay, so I'm going to double left click on the playnight.desktopapp.exe. And this is going to open up Playnight. So once we're inside the Playnight, we're just going to go up to a little controller at the top and then go down to library, configure emulators, and you're just going to go down to add. And this is going to enter new emulator. And from here, what we're going to need to do is go to name, just delete new emulator and replace this by calling it MAME. And we're going to leave installation folder empty as well as emulator specification empty. Next up, we're going to go to add. And this is going to bring up custom profile, which you can see. 
and we can technically name this whatever we want i'm going to just call this arcade and under supported platform so i'm going to also leave this one blank and under executable we now need to link this up to the main.exe so i'm going to just click on select folder and from here i'm then going to go to my play night folder and play not again and we're going to go into the emulators folder and this is where main is and i'm going to just scroll down until i find the main.exe if i double left click on this one this is now entered that inside of the executable and under arguments i'm going to just type this out so i'm going to just zoom in the screen at this point so you can see exactly how i'm typing this next up we got working directory so i'm going to just go to the select folder and we need to select the folder where everything is for main that is and here we go now under supported file types we need to tell play Knight what type of files we're using for a main rom set so of course it's going to be zip comma and i'm also going to type out zip again in capitals and that's about it really for main rom sets mainly they're in dot zip Okay, next up, we're going to add our main ROM set. So we're going to go up to the top left again, add game. And we're going to use emulator's game for this. We need to add scanner. Scan with emulator, main, profile is going to be arcade. And under scan folder, I'm now going to link this up to where my main ROM set is. So I need to navigate to my play night emulator's main folder. And I'm going to just left click once on ROMs where my games are. Select folder. And I'm then going to go to start scan. And here's my main ROM set. So if I then go to import. And as we can see, the main games have now been imported on the left hand side. And just at the top, just there, we see downloading meta. What this is doing is actually downloading information for our games. Okay, so once that's finished, we can literally open up a game from here. We can also go into the main emulator itself in order to configure controls and video settings that type of thing however whilst we're playing a game through main if we press the tab button we can actually access configurations through there but really if you want to set up a controller the best way to do this is actually go into your main folder so i'm going to show you how to do this so we're going to go back into play night and of course emulator main is an emulators folder and from here if i just open up main outside of play night and what we can do from here is just use our cursor, just go down to general settings. And under general settings, you're going to find input assignments. If we go to player one controls, you can actually map out your controller from here by double left clicking. And if I press up on my D-pad, it's now mapped. So if you should get any issues with mappings, that type of thing, or play night on main doesn't recognize your controller, this is how to do it. Just don't forget to save everything and also don't forget to map out your coin button because of course you're emulating arcade games here and uh, entering a coin essentially starts your game is why it's pressing say start button or action button so return the previous menu and if we go to other controls at the bottom here you're going to find your coins just here as well as player one start so i've already mapped out mine but like i say it's very much crucial that you map out coin one or if you're using two players three or four players uh just map out those coins and your start buttons so return to previous menu return to previous menu and just remember whilst you're in main just save your settings because it does tend to forget things Whilst we're in general settings, we can actually go to video options and just here you can actually enhance the look of your game. So for example, I've got my linear filter and turn on. If I turn it off, the games are going to look a bit more pixelated. By enabling this and turning it on, it will add a slight blur to it. Uh, same kind of thing with triple buffering, but just be aware of that if you've got a lower end computer, it might struggle to cope with those type of settings turned on. 
if we go back down to return the previous menu okay just remember though just to save everything especially when you're mapping out controllers if you lose all those mappings it's very frustrating to re-enter all those again so let's go back into play night and at the top left hand side we've got a search bar if i type in say robocop yes and just remember if you press tab you can actually enter the main menu for say input settings and so on press escape to come out of these Cool. so as you can see that works fine i totally recommend robocop i'd imagine most of you watching this would have played that okay so i'm next going to check out teenage mutant ninja turtles and just to remind you i'm using the latest main rom set fully merged And that's it for today's play night on main setup guide so as you can see during the turtles gameplay just there i pressed tab and went to dip switch settings and from there you can actually 
heighten or lower the difficulty with your games. And of course, main games, arcade games, were pretty much ramped right up to the most difficult level so they could get more money out of us when we were kids. But Turtles game itself, absolute classic. And I've been pretty much playing that game since 1990. It never gets boring to play that one. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.